Have you enjoyed playing a romance role? Yeah. Have you learned a lot about girls? Have you learned more about romance? Oh, I don't think so necessarily from this script. Like, nothing I wasn't learning anyway, I hope. Um, but yeah, I, I guess um, you know it's really fun doing a film that is kind of light-hearted and cheerful and is going to make people happy. Like normally I finish work for a day and I'm like, man, that, that scene I did today is going to make people so sad. This is terrible. And you know, when I did this, uh, this is a great song they're playing, by the way. Um, when I did this job, look, it was kind of lovely every day knowing like this is a really feel-good movie. Now you've done on stage nudity before, yes. and we understand there's more nudity in this film. Yeah, it's not like full frontal nudity or anything. You just see my ass, which is, you know, <laughs> that's that's nothing to write home about. Um, but yeah, so it's. Uh, Are you uh, comfortable doing nudity? Yeah, I, well, I think once you do it on stage, you kind of it rids you of any inhibitions you might have had, and um, yeah, it's a good like. If you want to get comfortable with your body, do a West End stage play <laughs> naked when you're 17. That's my advice. <laughs> Now, um, slightly sadder note, obviously, yeah. the news is still sinking in. Um, yeah, absolutely. Robin Williams' death has come as a shock to the industry. Um, how will you remember him? No, I mean, it's it's impossibly sad. I was lucky enough to meet him once or twice. Um, but I really, uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's very... Um, I don't know, it's impossibly sad. That's all there is to say. Like, that, that's all there is. You're virtually a veteran already. I mean, you've been in the industry well, so long. How, yeah. how do you stay so grounded, having grown up as a movie star? Um, I think I'm lucky. Well, I still make noises like that, apparently, which helps keep me grounded. Um, but, like, I guess, I, you know, I've got good people around me who don't, you know, who don't want to, um, you know, blow smoke or anything. So, like, it's... I think if you just keep people around you who aren't going to tell you you're brilliant all the time and will actually like give you a dose of honesty when you need it, hopefully that'll keep you relatively sane.